I didn't see you come in. I was just reading a story. Would you like to hear it? Of course you would! <laughs> Who are you talking to? No one. Ooh. Enjoy the show. Watching TV all alone I'm So tired of routines that the day goes on and on According to this, our firehouse is haunted by the ghost of William Smith A volunteer fireman Who died unexpectedly at the age of 103 Dude, you look sick in night vision Kevin, where'd you get these? I'm never taking them off I can see your underwear. Those aren't x-ray goggles. No, your pants are riding a little low, my brother. Get out of my face, please. All clear. There must be a ghost here. There's no way Joe could lift all that weight by himself. Very funny. The ghost must be downstairs knocking on the front door. What kind of lame ghost would knock? Maybe he was raised right. But he was alive. And I suppose it told you what time he'd show up, too. Yes. 9.15-ish. What, 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 what time is it now? 9.12-ish. Maybe the ghost is rocking a baby ghost. The wind blew the rocking chair when we opened the door for Stella. Nick, we don't have a rocking chair. Don't scream! You'll wake up the baby ghost. Well, if you see a ghost wearing a belt and suspenders, make sure you run for your life. <laughs> Sorry, Stella. My temperature gauge is a little pointy. <laughs> Will I ever stop talking like this? Stay tuned! Bad dream. About the new song? Yeah. Were we wearing underwear and birthday hats? You were wearing that too? Not this time. I went back to bed. Okay. Oh, guys, can someone please turn on the relaxation CD? Sure. How am I supposed to fall asleep to that? It's the wrong one. Now it's quicker, quick dry. Mm. Um, uh, I think we can help you, Nick. Uh, can yeah. we just grab uh, one, two, three? Oh. All the fun stuff happens to you. Can you please pass the milk? Sorry about that. Let me get you a towel. You didn't. Stella, I am so sorry. The jacket got caught on a nail and the sleeve got stuck in the elevator. I know you can fix it, though. Sure. So we're good? You know, we could just find different jobs, like a stuntman or a hand model. Ooh. Not helping. Uh, do you want my eye mask? No. Uh, how about a foot rub? How about a face punch? I can smell it. It's a hit song. It's just sizzling inside his brain. I can't sleep with you guys staring at me. I'm sorry, Nick. Kevin, stop staring at him. No! Not Mr. Bumble. Take it out on the keyboard! Album! Back on! <laughs> Thought 
thought maybe you guys could dream the next song. Good luck with the rest of your day, gentlemen. I love Spackle! <gasps> Yeah, that's a great idea. No, put me down! Put me down right now! This is Joe's bed? Hi, Fiona. <laughs> You really hurt his feelings. Come on, Joe. Come on out and see the pretty bells. You've got to be kidding me. Eyebrows. Fake. Okay. Dad. I mean, you would scream if you saw me first thing in the morning. I could scream right now. This is the Joe you're going to be romantically linked to. I haven't seen him this happy since he became a fifth level wizard. Look! 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 Dad! He can't breathe! <laughs> I'm gonna be in a movie today. Not just any movie. From the best-selling novel, Forever April, comes the major motion picture event, starring my brother Joe. Dude, no sausage. In a world with no sausage, one man tells his brother to stop talking like that. Look at this place. We are not in Jersey anymore. Kevin, I was supposed to be in makeup like yesterday. <laughs> you have to wear makeup. How you doing? Hey, Dizzy. Kind of in the middle of something. Introducing DZ, a.k.a. Lady Candy, as in Candy for Ladies, not as in, you know, I'm a lady named Candy. I get it. I don't want to get it, but I get it. Hug me. Oh, oh DZ, oh, your hair is really sharp. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have over Joe. Okay, DZ, back away from the Jonas. All right, Larry, this is be awesome. Wait, good to come. All right, lift me up. You are a wonderful and giving human being. Not my mood, my body. Oh, can't do. Oh, my goodness. Joe and I are friends. When are you just going to accept that? When you quit this movie. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Then I'll just go to Mona and get you fired. Please tell me that you wouldn't do that. Mm, last time I checked, I'm the star. Larry, bring me down. We're all adrift in a cold and indifferent universe. Me? Down. Thank you. All the way. Uh, sorry, it's stuck. 